Good morning. Welcome to the Facebook page of Ettrick and Yarrow Church and also on YouTube as we have these little thoughts each day, the each day of Holy Week. Today is Friday, of course, the darkest day in the Christian year. And although it's dark, yet we know the dawn is coming and Easter Sunday looms ahead of us. The light of the world has entered into the world and the darkness has not overcome it. So that's our theme as we think about this Good Friday day. And I welcome you just as we wait for people to join us and to, to take part with us. Um, we're going to share together in these thoughts on Good Friday. I hope you're keeping well over this Easter weekend. It's not easy being confined to the house and I hope you're also managing to keep in touch with friends and family and and one another by phone and social media and all the other things that we we have nowadays i must say it's a big learning curve for me but here we are and uh, we're managing <laughs> we're getting there so and I, i've bought myself a, a microphone so i hope the sound's okay um, and you'll let us know in a wee minute if it's not um but it should improve it but there you go it's great the things you buy on the internet so we've come to this Good Friday, the start of the, the Easter weekend. Um, and as I say, it's the darkest time in the Christian calendar as we think of the events of the cross and how awful that was. It was a dreadful and terrible thing that happened. Oh, goodness as he gathers us together like this um, to remember these things and to bring them to mind and, and to share them together. And it's really good for us to do this. Um, we're going to have another session tomorrow morning on the Saturday and then on Sunday we celebrate the wonderful events of the resurrection on Easter Day. And I hope that you'll be able to join us for that. It's at 10 o'clock uh, on this channel. I um, hope you can join us for that and share with us um, in that as well. Um, it's a very strange Easter, isn't it, from what we're used to? Um, always a time of celebration and holiday and brightness. As they see the, the, hope, the back of winter and look to better days to come. Um, and so this is very strange in many ways. It was lovely going out in the street, seeing everybody clapping last night and what a blessing it is, what a great sacrifice has been made on our behalf. And that too is very appropriate for Good Friday as we think of uh, the death of Jesus. So we can remember the many who have given their lives to keep us safe today. So we do think about them. The time approaches. We're about just to begin this little meditation. From John's Gospel, chapter 28. They took charge of Jesus. He went out carrying his cross and came to the place of the skull, as it's called. In Hebrew, it's called Golgotha. There, they crucified him. There was no other good enough to pay the price of sin. He only could unlock the gates of heaven and let us in. So says the old hymn. And on Good Friday, we think of Jesus on the cross all alone. Evil, hate and prejudice had done their worst. And it seemed as if they had triumphed over the Son of God, the giver of life, the Prince of Peace. His head was bowed, but his hands were outstretched. And they remain so so that he might embrace all who come to him, weary and burdened as we are, and find in him our resting place, a safe stronghold, a place of eternal love and eternal peace. Death had done its worst, but our Lord was triumphant over it. The light has come into the world, and the darkness has not overcome it. Let's pray. 
Oh Lord, these are such dark days for so many of us. So many problems and difficulties. So much around us that disturbs us. We think of those who are suffering at this time, those in intensive care, those who are dying. We think of those isolated from family and friends, not able to have someone with them. And those wonderful workers who are sitting by the bedside of those who are dying, holding their hands. Lord, there is no training that can prepare people for this, only compassion and care. And we thank you for every act of compassion shown to us. Fill our hearts with the wonder of your presence this day, that as we think upon the cross and remember it was for us, that he gave himself up upon it. And that one great sacrifice was made for us on the cross to take away our sin, to give us a new start, to grant that we might be forgiven. Lord, we praise you for that gift of our Lord Jesus and for what he has done for us. Fill our hearts with wonder and praise as we remember others suffering at this time and help each one of us to give you thanks, to know your presence, and to know that death is not the end, but only the beginning, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being with us and sharing in this time. Hope to see you again tomorrow.